Let's discuss Mexico. I always had the goal after I became more famous, like I just want to play in every country in the world at least once. And and also in as many cities as possible. And um, yeah, on this Mexican tour, we have a, I've gone to a lot of cities I've never been before. I think for a band this might, might be harder to tour like this, but for me as a DJ it's, it's very nice that I can travel pretty light. To see the turnout that so many people show up, I mean I see how enthusiastic they are and they say they, they really appreciate it and that gives me uh, extra inspiration. Estamos muy contentos porque nos haya hecho caso de venir aquí a San Luis. Hemos este, esperado mucho este evento. Ha habido DJs mexicanos muy buenos, pero a nivel internacional, este, como DJ Tiesto, te lo te soy sincero, no he visto hasta ahorita un evento como el que están organizando aquí en San Luis Potosí. We need a driver. We need a driver. Do we, get, do we have a driver? Get the driver. We, we went over and we started like shaking legs and like the stage basically like popped out. So in Cabo, uh, they promised us a, a great stage and a great rigging and everything. And then uh, my guys went to see the, the, the structure and they knew right away that it wasn't safe to uh, perform there. I mean, it was frustrating for me because we addressed these issues in advance. Um, we basically, you know, question the promoters and, and the local yeah. production people. They tell you one thing and then you know, four or five hours later, it's a completely different thing. It's, it's basically the promoter, he didn't check the, uh, the right uh, equipment, I think. So we were really doubting should we cancel the show or should we just play, but then just on a kitchen table or something, you know? What's the lesser of two evils? Making sure that the barriers are safe or making sure that there's a show? Because if there's no show, uh, then people are going to go yeah. crazy, man. Cancel shows. It's it's, it's, a big thing. it's also a big thing. Huh? Oh, People I are waiting know. for a year for me to come here and buy tickets, and so they're gonna be pissed either way. In the end of the day, a lot of fans always blame the artists as well when they, when they cancel a show. So it's, it's I hated to disappoint people because you know that's that's my biggest uh, joy out of this whole thing that I can make people happy when I show up. People are smiling and love the music. When you have to cancel a show, it's really bad. With the barriers, you don't know how the people are going to react. You don't know how, how safe it is. I think we figured it all out, and we'll see how it goes. But uh, it's still, it's still, I'm still a little bit nervous about it. We're going to be very uh, on point to see if everything goes well. We turn it into a pool party instead of a, a stage act, and uh, that, that was the, the advantage we had when we could move it to the pool. The good thing about it is what I learned from that is that I put it on my Twitter. Like I said, oh, sorry, guys, tonight. It will not be the production as you expect from me. And basically all the reactions I got from the people was like, it doesn't really matter, we just want to hear your music, we just want to hear you play, and the production is a, is a bonus, but if, it, if it's not, it's more important that you just keep going and, uh, and play for us the music. And that was really uh, yeah, very nice to read. Good to, to there, two year, Hi, I'm Siesto. Congratulations to Mixed Bank Brazil on your two year anniversary. Looking okay. to action. And action. Hey, I'm Tiesto, and congratulations to all my friends. <laughs> Come on. Hey, I'm Tiesto. Oh, hold on, we got a jury. Yeah. We do another one. Congratulations to my two years anniversary. <laughs> oh! Okay, one more time. I get it, I get it. Hey, I'm Tiesto, and many people are asking what the f I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Tiesto. Congratulations to my friends in Brazil at Mixmag for the second anniversary. I hope on many more years. Congratulations, guys. That's good. to Vegas. It's, it's a really fast life to do it like this. You know, a month 
it feels for me like a year when I tour like this. And I really enjoy it. I enjoy like, it's a new day, it's a new city, it's a new, it's a new challenge. Every night is a, is a challenge. And, uh, that's what makes it, keeps it interesting for me. Welcome to Las Vegas. What's going on? We're going to EDC now, Electric Daisy Carnival. And you are? Mr. Burmest. All right. Yes, sir, thank you. Are you ready for the helicopter ride to EDC? Pretty cool. I've never been to a NASCAR uh, venue. Watch out, watch out! are the best places to play because the crowd gives you so much energy and it just pumps you up. Next time on In The Booth. We're in Bucharest tonight and I'm always looking forward to this show because uh, the crowd is really into the music. They always want more. They have, normally I play a longer set here. <laughs> I'm supposed to stop at five. When I'm in the zone and nobody's telling me what time it is, I just forget about everything around me.